Sup folks, my name is Georgie Grimm. I guess I'll just jump on into it. So basically, as some of you may have seen on Tony's YouTube channel, we recently went on a trip in Eastern Washington. Let's just fucking jump into it, okay? You know what? Okay. Oh my God, Washington. So we went to a town called Govan, Washington, which is about two hours away from Ellensburg, Washington, which was where we started. We didn't really know what to expect when we entered into Govan, Washington, but what we saw was this this old abandoned schoolhouse, and then we saw a couple of old silos and all that. And the town right now is currently being used for industrial purposes and farming technology. And basically, the history of the town goes as Govan is a ghost town in central Washington state. There are remnants of several buildings, most notably the old Govan schoolhouse. Govan was once a small farming community, large enough to boast a post office, school, two churches, and several businesses. And in 1909, listed a population of 114 people. However, a fire in 1927 devastated the business district and many stores chose to not rebuild. By 1933, the bypass of the town by Highway 2 hasted its demise and the school closed in 1942. Post office and final business closed in 1967. So because of the creation of Highway 2 in 1933, the town of Govan, Washington officially closed. Highway 2 spans all the way from Washington State all the way over to Maine. Highway 2 spans over 2,571 miles across the entirety of America. This highway goes through 11 states and is officially one of the largest highways in the entirety of the United States of America. In Govan, the last business to close was the post office, signifying the ultimate closing of Govan. This town also had many problems. Govan is the home to many unsolved murders, including the murder of Judge J.A. Lewis and his wife Penelope. Lewis. In the year 1902, Judge J.A. Lewis and his wife Penelope Lewis were murdered by an axe murderer for a large sum of money that they had supposedly hidden within their household. According to history, this murder still has yet to be solved. And then later on in the same year, a man named C.S. Thanes was killed by a masked blood man in the Govan Saloon. And this was also an unsolved murder. Even Govan Cemetery wasn't safe from destruction and all eight graves were moved to Wilbur for an unknown reason, which I I haven't done much research as to why, but there's a lot of really creepy, creepy things about this town, especially since there were so many unsolved murders. That really doesn't sense which makes for the town to be very very haunted and the town still is home to the schoolhouse which I will show in a clip which was built in 1905 it still stands and it's still intact the structure is falling down birds live within the rafters and it's home to many little woodland creatures and all that <laughs> woodland creatures you know what I mean so basically in conclusion Sylvan Washington still remains as a place on the map to this day but but the tragic history of its town, including the murders, remain unsolved. Govan was a farming community in the 1890s, all the way up to 1933, before it was closed because of the creation of Highway 2. Okay, so I've done a lot of research here, and because of the fact that this town basically was in an unincorporated community, there's not a whole lot of history that remains about the schoolhouse or about the town itself. The only thing that remains is information on the unsolved murders in Govan, Washington. To this day, people People still don't know what happened in Govan or why there were so many unsolved murderers, but there's much speculation and there's much confusion because of the fact that there were so many murderers but nobody solved them. And even I myself find it to be quite bizarre for how many unsolved murderers there were in that town. And I talked to Tony and he doesn't really know what happened there. If there's more information on this town or if anybody has anything that they know about, about Govan, if anybody really even knows about Govan, which I'm sure, I don't know if anybody really does. No one's talked about Eastern Washington. There's so much mystery and speculation about Eastern Washington and about this weird world that exists outside of Western Washington. A world that people normally see when they see the movies or the TV shows or anything like that. We only ever show Western Washington, but now we're showing Eastern Washington. 
Washington Museum, what actually exists out there, what there is and what there is to be found. And there's a lot of towns that are like this, where there's not a whole lot of history or there's not really much information that remains because they were such small towns that nobody really thought to write down the history of these towns or a lot of the history has been lost, records have been lost. So naturally there's not gonna be a whole lot of information out there anyways. And that's the unfortunate fact about going to abandoned towns because there's not a whole lot of information that remains because a lot of the reason was basically the highways, railways were destroyed, which meant that a lot less people would be going through those towns. And so therefore a lot of history would be lost. Because of the abandonment of towns is mainly the reason for why history was lost. So unfortunately, I don't have any information on the schoolhouse itself. I have very little information on the history of the town. This is mostly just me reporting to you about what happened rather than the history itself. And I'm sorry that I can't really give you more than what I have, but again, that's the problem when you go to unincorporated towns within your state, especially within the farm district within, not really because of the farm district itself, but what I'm trying to say is that it's nearly impossible to look up information from towns that have existed nearly a century ago and almost nothing remains. It's impossible. But you know what? I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's really all over the place and it was a lot, but if you like this video, please like and subscribe and be sure to check out Tony's video on his channel. I'll be linking that in the description box down below. Be sure to check back next week because I'm gonna be uploading consistently again. Don't worry about that, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for next week's video. Hey, thanks, bye.